Guys, we gotta talk. Hi, Thumos, and welcome back. Dude, I mean, this is amazing. And you may laugh at the title of this video, and you may think to yourself, this guy is full of it. Bro, science. Okay, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you that this is there's something to this. So hear me out, okay? Uh, Andrew Huberman from the Huberman Lab podcast has been talking for a little bit about the moving of your eyes like this, left to right. Like that, okay? Right to left. And what that does. So what it does when you're moving your eyes left to right like this, you're not, you're not walking. You're naturally suppressing the activity of the amygdala, which is suppressing anxiety, stress. And so these lateral eye movements you get when you walk in nature, your eyes naturally kind of move around like this, kind of looking around, you know, seeing the trees, seeing the birds. Maybe there's a cave over here. Maybe there's a deer that comes out of nowhere. So you're seeing, you're looking left and right. And this has a, a really cool elimination of stress and anxiety for the mind. So what I found is that there's actually activities that you can do that give you very similar of these eye movements, okay? And it will calm you down. It'll, it'll help you figure things out. Because what happens is when you feel anxiety and stress, if you lean into it, oftentimes when you go for a walk, all right, you, and there's no noise, there's no audio, there's nothing, no ear pods, you actually figure things out. You'll, you'll have, uh, at first you'll get hit with anxiety and stress, but then you'll lean into it and you'll figure things out. And so what I found is there's a couple activities. And first of all, we got to start with this. Listen, look at this big old tome. Reading, dude. Reading is like the last technology of the old world. Think about, this blows my mind. In the 1500s, people had books. What else do we have now that people had in the 1500s? This is the last piece of the old world, man, right here in a book. The last piece of technology from the ancient world that is untouched by the algorithm, that is un plagued by you know uh light you know i'm not talking about i'm talking about reading from an actual physical book and you get that same lateral eye movement when you read left right you know your chinese you read right left i think i mean amazing and you'll notice you read what happens this is what happens when you go into that anxiety you, you you go into your mind usually when you start reading it's very hard you start reading paragraphs over and over if you're not used to it you actually are going to go in and you start to have these thoughts and then you're sort of going to the thoughts and there's a calmness that, that comes over you. It's like a, a relaxation that takes over. And this is a release of dopamine. When you go into your fear, when you go into anxiety, when you move forward, when you lean into that, that, uh, that stress, you actually get rewarded. Andrew Huberman talks about this. I'll link you to a video and it releases dopamine. And the cool thing about dopamine is it inhibits prolactin. Uh, which is responsible, it lowers your testosterone. And so when, hopefully I said that right, when dopamine is released, it inhibits prolactin itself. So prolactin inhibits testosterone, okay? But the dopamine inhibits the prolactin, which in turn should raise testosterone. And so I've noticed this, you start reading for a little bit, 10 minutes passes by, and you're really relaxed. And oftentimes I will get a boner. All right, so show me your results. I guarantee it. You know, if you're a healthy young man, there's no reason that laying there, reading a little book, left and right, you're super relaxed. You have some anxiety. You work out in your head. You just get these inspiring thoughts. It's like a hyperbolic time chamber, dude. We have to keep reading alive. Okay, we have to keep this technology going. Fahrenheit 451, where they burn all the books, dude. I'm not even gonna need to burn the books. People just don't read these things because. There's not enough stimulus in, in a, tr a dead tree with markings on it. And so we have to keep this, this old, this ancient human technology um, alive. You know, what else do we have? Boats, some tools, 
people were using. No one had anything that we have these days. Look around here. They didn't have a TV. They didn't have these crazy architecture, these uh, phones. They didn't have any of this stuff. The, the Apple Pods, they didn't have any of it. They had books. Books is one of them. All right, books is one thing that you can do. What else can we do to have these lateral eye movements? Well, let, let me just show you. I mean, daddy's got his yo-yo. You know, left, right, left. Look at that. Right. Oh, and so on. Amazing. I mean, dude, get yourself a yo-yo. Come on. All right. You guys ask me, I'm just going to tell you in a video. You go to gentrystein.com. Gentrystein. Dot com. I'll put that in the comments down below. I'm I got to make be friends with this guy. He's a world yo-yo champion, and he sells a very cheap yo-yo called a Yo-Yo Factory Replay. It's like less than twenty bucks, and it's a great plastic starting yo-yo to help you to help you learn stuff. All right, and you can uh you can see if you like yo-yoing. That's how I started. I got a plastic yo-yo. That thing can do everything this yo-yo can do. All right. This yo-yo is like 50 bucks. This is also his uh, custom yo-yo. The shutter, Gentry Stein shutter. But you don't need a metal to start out with. You just need to learn the basics. You can do all that with a uh, with a plastic yo-yo. So, you know, yo-yoing for me, you have those ladder rod movements. What else can you do? And if you know of anything that gives you these similar, you know, ladder rod movements, then post it in the comments. The phone doesn't really give that to you. If you think about it, the phone kind of, I think, can make you anxious. Unless you're really reading something, like you're, you're on a form or you're reading something. But usually it's a scrolling upwards. It's like up and down. That doesn't count. That doesn't give you the same. And it's very uh, fidgety. It's like, you know, you're just like all over the place. You're like, bzz, 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 bzz. you're all over the place. So it's not the same effect. Uh, so for me, it would have to be another one would just be walking in nature. And I've told you guys, Rucking, rucking has been huge, uh, huge benefit for my life, and that's simply putting a backpack on, and you put about 20 pounds, 10% of your body weight, and then you just go and you walk with that weight on your back, and it's it burns more calories, it's easier on the knees than running, it fixes your posture, so I highly recommend running. It helps you lose weight. Another thing would be jujitsu. You know this 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 back and forth. This, okay, I'm checking here, I'm checking the legs, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going left or right, I'm trying to pass, I'm X-passing, you know, I'm stacking, I'm coming over, dude. Freaking jujitsu, guys, do it. All right, so, these, I'm pumped, man, I just got back from class. So, if you guys got anything, let me know. This is something I've been just, you know, as we evolve as a species, we get constantly hit with this evolving technology as well, and I don't think that we're ready for the the rapid pace of that evolution. I mean, we're inundated by technology, by the algorithms. So it's a fight to not lose our spirits, you know, to not lose what makes us human. And these simple things such as reading, such as being alone, going on walks with yourself, combat sports, or simply play, you know, playing sports with friends, um, being on a court, you know, basketball. All of these things, they make us more human, they make us bond and connect. Um, so I hope that you will try these out, all right? Love you, bros. Hope to see you soon. Let me know what you do down below. All right? Peace.